trying again with the crumpets. They are rising and I've got a few holes. But what was happening was that the bubbles were coming up, but then they were collapsing. I don't know if that's due to the wrong temperature, but I tell you what, I've got a newfound respect for people that make crumpets. Trying it on a hotter temperature now. This one over here is looking pretty good, but it's taking a while to cook all the way up. And look at this one. Let's see. Well, they're looking better on the higher heat, but I can smell they're burning what to do and yet they're still bloody raw inside and i know that traditionally you would toast them but that's not going to cook that and also if you get a crumpet out of a packet you could eat it without toasting it you couldn't eat that so how many times Am I going to keep trying with the same recipe? Just trying to tweak timings of cooking because I'm just not sure that this recipe is going to work for me. Yee. We had poached eggs on sourdough in the end. bit more research to be done, a bit more trying, a bit more tweaking, but I'll do that when I've got leftover sourdough starter. I'm not just going to do it for the sake of it. Because I want to eat crumpets that I've made out of sourdough discard that look like this. Can you hear Margo breathing? I don't know if that's her snoring or if she's sort of struggling, I don't know. She seems all right, energetic enough. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm knitting, it's lovely. I'm cracking on with that uh, neckline. I've made some adjustments and I don't know, I, I think in a minute when I join the two sides together, it'll, um, I'll know whether I'm on the right track or not. <clears throat> but I think it's, I think it's okay. It's one o'clock, I think I'll have a cup of tea Finish doing the bit that I wanted to do on this jumper, pop out and say hello to my chickens, and then sew Phil's tie backs. Um, gonna have a roast dinner today. I might do a crumble. Got some tinned peaches and things, that might be quite nice. And if I can force myself, I might sow some seeds a massive mental block about gardening at the moment. I know I'll regret this in a couple of months when my garden's looking really empty. Never mind. I've been sat in here a little while making tie backs for Phil's camper van and the babies keep waking up. <laughs> so little Timmy has been up a couple of times and coconut's been up a couple of times. They make me so happy. Look at that little face. Look at your little foot. They're perfect. He chitters, listen. Now he stopped. Squeaky chair. I'm wearing my Whitmore sweater which is a pattern by my friend Amy, Amy Loudon, Tailoress Studio, and the yarn is her latte colourway. It's her um, merino cashmere blend and her Suri alpaca as well. 
This is such a popular pattern and it looks really complicated and it's actually extremely simple to do. Unlike the flipping sweater I'm knitting now, this was a dream to fit into knit. Oh, you are so sweet. He's so sweet, look at him. I love you so much. I still miss Lucy. Oh, she was a hamster in a million. Tell you what though, Timmy has absolutely stepped up his game. Don't think we'll ever get one like you, will we, mate? He's just so adorable. Do you love me? I love you. <laughs> just went to nibble my lip. I'm not food. <laughs> Poor old Teddy. I don't know if you can see, but it is piddling with rain. Um, and he's out in the middle of a field somewhere getting the cows in. But how nice and green is everything becoming? Oh, I love this bit of my garden, I really do. It's so low maintenance, it's just divine. It's one part of my garden that I can just sit out and enjoy, love it. Second, I've got headphones and I didn't hear you. What did you say? Um, I can put uh, my foot Oops. on the carpet and wait, but then when it's on carpet, yeah, carpet. still struggling with your sore foot. Look what I've just done, Bill. What? Made myself look like a <laughs> <sign. laughs> uh, Am I going to do another pasta this Thursday? Yeah, or you could do jacket potatoes. I know how to cook potatoes. Yeah. Should we have jacket potatoes this Thursday or do you want to do jacket the pasta potatoes. again so that you don't forget what you did last week? Pasta. Pasta, all right. Well, we'll go to the shops on Wednesday and you can choose. Maybe we'll choose a different sauce. Whatever you like. We could even go to a different shop if you want. What now? Right, we'll talk about it. Such weird weather. It's now beautiful sunny gorgeousness I'm gonna stuff the chicken with some thyme from the garden oh it smells amazing I'm gonna stuff some onion up the butt of the chicken also gonna lay it on a bed of onion, which will be lovely for the gravy. Oh, I'm such a messy cook. Drive Toby nuts, but I don't care. He can be tied. He can be tidy when he cooks, which he never does. So I can be as messy as I like. <laughs> Shove in lemon that's gone a bit sad. Sorry about the background noise of the dishwasher. Right, I'm not going to show you me stuffing this lot up the backside of a chicken because raw meat grosses me out. Sometimes I just can't eat it. What's that? Ted? Ted didn't get the warning. Oh no. I told him that that means it. We don't love him. <laughs> <laughs> no. But he will 
Perish. Perish <laughs> in the disaster. No, we'll go rescue him. <laughs> no, because we'll be behind it under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> we can't fit under the bed. The wood comes down too low. Oh shit. Where would we hide? We'd have to go in the cupboard under the stairs. Hope for the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I'd just I don't know, take some street drugs, go and have a little party and wait for the end. Oh, what's in there? Cherries. <gasps> no way! They're not very really nice. No, they're not. Yeah. They're not like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's got an idea. Uh -oh. What's that, boy? You know that big what job? Well job. You, yeah, but darling, we can't get to that because we sealed it over. Yeah, but you won't be able to get in there because you won't have had the warning, so you won't know. And you'll smell too bad, we won't let you in. <laughs> I don't think I, if we would be nuclear bombed, I don't think I'd want to live through the fallout. I think I would just say, right, God, I'm ready to see you. I don't think that's what the warning's for. I think it's for if, you know... The conspiracy people are saying it's if Putin bombs us. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, but what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Oh my goodness. Oh dear. <laughs> it's risen too much. How am I going to get those out? so much on the day that I put you up high. Well, this is unusual. Yeah. Well, did a... you reach out to Dad or did Dad make you hug him? No, Dad didn't. I don't like him. Huh? What? Bill. Did Dad make you hug him? No. No. Did you just give Dad a spontaneous hug? No. I don't <laughs> like you. <laughs> you don't like hugs. Well, you don't like the thought of like them, hugs, but you do like them once you get going. Bill, you do like them, don't you? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorted out with eye appointment. Hmm. Well, you've got an eye appointment coming up, Bill. You look good in when? my glasses. <laughs> when? Margot and I have come to bed. I just need to be in bed. My friend Alicia sent me this. You might know her as Posy Gets Cozy. Incredible, beautiful pictures on her Instagram. Gorgeous, gorgeous uh, blog. Um, yeah, she sent me, sent me this. And I, I pick it up every now and again when I just need to enter a different world where I don't need to concentrate or remember a plot. It's great. 
it's absolutely great. I think I've read probably the first bit three or four times now. So I shall kiss you all good night. I'll see you tomorrow.